Hey guys, Softy here, and in today's tutorial we will be learning how to create this thing. It's uh, it's kind of like a giant gyroscope, I guess. But, <clears throat> um, I saw a video on YouTube of a guy who created a map. It's just a big block with a bunch of rotating and gyrating rings uh, inside of it, inside the map itself. It's pretty badass, and uh, he said he would post a tutorial, but I have not seen a tutorial yet on it, so here we go. Alright, so I am just going to delete all these rings right now. Because what's the use of having them if I can't show you what's up? Alright, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create our room. And then we're going to go to our little block tool right here. And over here where it says objects, we're just going to click it and go down to cylinder. Now, this thing that says faces, type in 32 or 16 or whatever you like. Make sure you're still in the block mode. Create a block, uh, put it in the middle of the map, and just make it 16 units thick. Once it comes off, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Here, let's get a better texture. Uh, brick. Alright. <clears throat> so, you, here's what our ring's going to look like. Just a bunch of brick rotating rings. So, what I'm going to do, now listen carefully and follow carefully. I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold shift and drag it. And it will duplicate it. Now that you see that I have two, drag it back to the middle. And take this, uh whatever this is, balloon, I guess, and drag it one in. Huh. Alright. Fucking Drag it one in, and then take this balloon down here and drag it one in. So that way you have 112 by 112 instead of, you know, the 120 by 120. Hold Control, Shift, and C to hollow this other ring out. Now if you drag this away, you'll see that this is just a hollow ring right here. Alright, drag this thing back. Uh, do the same thing, just grab the balloon and then make it smaller, make it 96 by 96, hold shift, drag another one out, put it back in the middle, and then make this one like 80 by 80, hold control shift and C, and then just make it one more smaller again, it's just a big process, I'm just going to make a little gyroscope, hold shift, drag it out, bring it back, and then this will be the final little gyroscope, so I'm going to hold control shift and C, then delete. Now right here, I just have three rings. So, what we're going to want to do to find out how these rings are going to rotate is we're going to select just the middle ring and hold Control and M. Now it'll bring up the transformation tool. Now you can rotate it, scale it, or move it. We're going to want to rotate, and then uh, I just want to see what it looks like if I rotate it by X. So I'm going to type 90. Alright, so it'll spin it like that, and I want it like that. So I'm going to hold Control and Z. Well, actually, no. Control Y. I'm going to keep it like this. Hold Control and T with it still selected. And then it'll say Funk Detail. And I'm going to go to Funk Rotating. Now this is a completely different way from 3 Clicks Phillips way. Because what 3 Clicks Phillips does is he makes everything uh, a prop physics. And then puts a motor in it. And that's just, that is one piece of shit tutorial. No offense, 3 Clicks Phillips. Alright, so for a name, I'm just going to say Middle. Hit Apply. Uh, blocking Damage, you can put that at like 100. 100. Max rotation speed, you can also do whatever you want to that. But the only thing that you really need to do is go to flags, check start on, and then rotation on the X axis. Now make sure that it's still, the big purple circle is in the middle, or sphere. Now we're going to go to this ring right here. We're going to hold control and M. We're going to go to Y and see what it looks like if it rotates on Y. And I like that. So I'm going to keep it like that. Hold control and T. Make it a funk rotating, rotating, there we go, hit apply, I'm going to name this one uh, outer, hit apply, go to flags, start on, and check the y axis, hit apply again, now for this one right here, I think I'm also going to have this one on the x axis, so we're going to type 90, but I'm going to leave it just like this, so I'm going to hold control and T, and then rotating, funk rotating, hit apply, you can change the speed again, you can change the blocking damage, we're going to go to flags, start on, and then check the x axis. Now with the gyroscope that I previously created, the orange one that you saw in the middle, it was a lot bigger and it spun, uh, each ring had different speeds, so the middle one spun really fast, while the outer one spun at like, I think the speed was 5, so it's going like this. It's really badass, but this one's just going to be a tiny little gyroscope. You guys can mess with it on your own. Uh, I'm just going to move them all down right there. 
Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is grab a light. Let me just delete this one. Okay, so go to your entity tool, put an entity in the middle of entity tool, entity in the middle of your funk rotatings. Drag it all the way up. Now double click the entity, go up here and just type in light. Hit apply and it should be right in the right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, control save, I'm going to hit F9 to run it. And what I'm going to do is run an HDR, but that's just me. And uh... I will catch you guys in a little bit, so thank you guys for watching my tutorial. I hope it helped you just a little bit. And, um, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm in Colorado where the weather is shitty, so wish me luck, fellas. Bye.